course, there's no bigger story. We're focusing on NVIDIA. Shares of the most valuable chip maker soaring after the company's bullish outlook, and it's set to break the one-day move for market cap gains. It is up more than $250 billion in market cap on the day. Now let's discuss this with Bloomberg Intelligence Senior Analyst Kunjan Sobani in San Francisco. There are a lot of questions, Kunjan, about how now you value NVIDIA. When you're looking at the 12 months moving forward, or how do you start to price this company anymore? I mean, yeah, at a, at a 12 month moving forward PE, now it is actually at a much more comfortable level than it has been in the last year. Um, you know, it, it is slight premium to the Sox and to its peers, but when I create a comp sheet, this name Stay, stays at the top, so it definitely deserves a premium. When you look at revenue growth, when you look at gross margin, uh, as good as a software company gross margin, when you look at operating income, I mean, looking forward in 24, 25, the expected operating income for NVIDIA is actually going to be larger than the revenues that the top largest semiconductor companies make these days. So definitely it has checks all the boxes when it comes to the fundamentals, so definitely deserves a premium. And like I said, the multiples now are actually much more at a much more comfortable level than they were before. It's funny to talk about something like this on a day like today, but given we are soaring at such great heights, it's worth asking about the risks at investing at this level, given the run-ups that we have seen, whether it's China or an economy that rolls over. What do you think are the biggest risks to this stock today? Yeah, in terms of near term and from the earnings print, we didn't see any significant risk really uh, to highlight. Uh, a couple of risk factors, more of sort of uh, thought, food for thought for long term risk. Definitely China. I mean, we saw China revenues drop by almost two billion, mostly from the data center uh, segment. And this is something right now. It doesn't impact them because they are easily able to ship what they would have shipped to China to other countries and U.S. But as the you know demand supply keeps coming on, and within a few years, if demand and supply do come at a balance, this takes a big bite of what they could have gained from the China revenues. Again, China is the second largest market outside the U.S. And the second risk is. Similarly, long term, not in the near term, is its largest customers, the cloud customers, are starting to design their own chips. So um, it is too early to say how it will impact their trajectory, but definitely, again, takes a bite out of their, their, their long term opportunity. You have a $1.9 trillion company when we look at it today. What is it worth a year from now? Um, look, it's still from a year from now, from when you look at the revenue growth, still fastest growing. And at that scale, something that we do, have not seen in the recent semiconductor industry. Again, uh, gross margins, operating margins, definitely at the top. Kunjan Sobani of Bloomberg Intelligence, we thank you so very much for your time today and for following this story so closely over the last 24 hours.